My name is Dennis Reuter, and I'm the instrument scientist for the Ralph Instrument on New Horizons. I don't think that Pluto cares what it's called. We know that we're going out and looking at a part of the solar system that's never been explored in situ before, in place before, and that's what's exciting about today. New Horizons is a mission to the Pluto system and beyond, now that we recognize that this is all part of the Kuiper Belt, a undisturbed area left over from the beginning of the solar system. The Ralph instrument is a combined spectral imager. We look in the infrared to get spectra that tells us what materials are on the surface and what their temperatures are and how they're distributed. And it also has color imagers on it, red, blue, near infrared, and a channel for methane, all in one small measurement system. The data will tell us a lot about what has gone on on Pluto since its formation four billion years ago. Pluto and the Kuiper Belt represent a new object in the solar system that has never really been explored. We've taken close-up images of all the planets and of many of the moons around the planet. The Kuiper Belt, that large area that's out there, really has never had a spacecraft visit it. Pluto is the first to that. Hopefully, others will follow. New Horizons, NASA's first spacecraft designed to learn more about Pluto, has always been on the fast track. First, the probe set a new record for the highest launch speed of a human-made object leaving Earth. Then, its fly by Jupiter and the gravitational assist from the largest planet in our solar system increased New Horizons' traveling speed, making it the fastest spacecraft to date. And anything moving that fast would be difficult to slow down. It's a matter of basic physics. So New Horizons will simply zip past the Pluto system snapping pictures and taking measurements at a feverish pace. But with all that momentum, New Horizons' mission will certainly not end with a Pluto encounter on July 14th. Kuiper Belt, here we come.